NFL, the final score of this game was Bengals 27, 15 Dolphins, which overall, a lot of things happened this game. I'll get into some of the other stuff that happened later, later on the video. I have to do separate videos about that, the Tua situation. But let's start out. Offensively, the Bengals looked dominant. They were running the ball well. Joe Mixon really just ran the ball the whole time. And they were getting good passes. T. Higgins played great. Jamar Chase, I think he played great as well. Honestly, Joe Burrow got a little more protection and could get the ball out a bit quicker. I felt like some snaps was pretty... They really did, didn't hold the line that long. But overall, Joe Burrow really got it out fast, which I think he's been pretty known to do that. The Dolphins offense, Tyree Kill and Jalen Waddle seemed to really be getting a lot of catches from Tua from the majority of the game until Tua went out. And... I feel like the Dolphins maybe could have won this game, but they just didn't play that great at the very end. And I still think the Bengals have a very good chance to make the playoffs. Even though they got a slow start, they're still, in my opinion, going to make the playoffs. And the main thing is, I think that the Bills are still better than the Dolphins. I think last week's game was definitely a fluke, and the Bills are still better. But what do you think about last night's game, and what are you watching? Leach Report and Leach Report Ground. I have to explain the context behind this. Some people might not know about this, but Tua was actually hurt last week. It's supposed on, supposedly a back injury, and he went out and he stumbled after game hit, which some people will question if it was back injury. I definitely do agree. It wasn't a back injury. It was a concussion. And he pretty much was taken back into the game. The doctors of Miami really allowed him to go back in the game after watching him stumble. I think it definitely was a concussion. I don't know how they let that happen. And the NFL definitely needs to investigate that in them. The investigation actually was going to happen last week, but then what happened last night really, really is getting him up the pressure. Two was actually hit by a Bengals player. He hit his head on the back where the same place he hit it last week, and his hands tensed up, and he they had to cart him off. He had head and neck trauma. That's what they said in the thing. They took him to a level one trauma unit, and Tua took by low is conscious last night and has to move it in his extremities has been taken to a local hospital following his head injuries, which this is very interesting overall. They said he's going to travel with the team now, which back to Miami, which is going to be very interesting to see. I don't really think he's going to play next week. Some people are saying, oh, it's nine days and all this other stuff. He's not going to play. His way of life for the rest of his life, if he had the back-to-back -back concussions, is not going to be that good just because that's very strenuous on the brain. And what happened last night was not a good sign of what's to come, and it's just very bad. A lot of people in the comments were saying, oh, in social media doctors and all this other stuff. Actual doctors were talking about this and saying that. Last night's signs were definitely brain and head trauma from last week, which they thought was actually a concussion, which is not a good sign. A lot of people were being ridiculous and saying that these people need to toughen up and all this other stuff. How you tough enough when you have a brain injury? I don't care how these people are in this delusional and this stupid. But what do you think about this? And comment down below what you